Hi, my name is Dave Bowman, retired Navy SEAL with Moorfield Training Center's Maritime Special Projects. This is the 42-foot interceptor we built with uh, Reggie Fountain on his racing hull that has the record of 177 miles an hour. Uh, the current boat that won the, the cup down in the Keys at 2009 uh, was also on this hull. Um, so we have built with him a 42-foot interceptor with twin 575 Merc Cruisers, racing transmissions, and with the six drives. So for all intents and purposes, the bottom of the boat that touches the water is all about racing. The top part of the boat, everything that we've built in this concept, is militarized, so it's a work boat. The top part of the boat, everything that we've built in this concept, is militarized, so it's a work boat. So we have designed this boat to be part of counter drug, counter piracy, anti piracy. What a kind of advanced interdiction it might be out there, whether it's for military, whether it's for customs, border patrol, Department of Homeland Security, whatever the fit is, we've designed this boat to be like a pickup truck, however you want to organize it. The dry weight of this boat is 11,000 pounds. We've got a crew of three. We've got passenger room for 12. And we've got storage in the bow compartment for two F-470s with 55 outboards. All the operational gear that would be up in the front, passengers would be driving slick, and when you get to your objective, you can change into your operational gear. The bolsters are removable. These are stand-up bolsters with no seats. The configuration for the seating for the crew is a center helm. We've got a throttleman slot here over on the right, and we've got a nav slot on the, on the left. The configuration we have like this is when you're in the off, offshore environment, you want to have a wheelman that can handle the wheel, and you got a throttleman that takes care of the throttling and the trim of the boat and can monitor all the instrumentation and your navigator takes care of making sure you're getting from point A to point B. Options that would come with this boat would be rigged for uh, night vision. That means you got all the lights are dialed down for night vision. The option also would be for FLIR, that would be mounted on the antenna arch in the back, the monopole we've got. In addition to having the options for uh, crew serve weapons, there's four stations that would be on this boat, all in the aft section of the boat, and a ROSAM system that could mount it up in the forward end area in the uh, bow compartment. We have crew, um, as I already discussed, crew for three, and then we have passengers, three rows of four stand-up bolsters. Um, the reason you have this much space back here, uh, when you got 12 guys, four, three rows of four, is there's less moving around when you're in a sea state. So if you're in a, in a four to six or six to eight foot sea state, you got significant waves that you have to deal with. So having everybody tight back here makes it for a better ride than the operators in the back. You've got a bunch of storage up in the front here. so. For the operators that are going to be doing any kind of special operations, you can put two F-470s 
uh, made by Zodiac, which are CRCs, uh, up, rolled up in the front, and you can also have storage up in here for 255s or 35 horsepower um, outboard motors, fuel, whatever that might be. You can offload all the bags and all the operational gear that's in here, your kit bags, your weapon systems, your your kit that you're going to wear, your body armor, all the operational gear comes out of the bow compartment. The bolsters come out because they're removable. You put those back up in the front here, and then the guys can change into their kit in the back. Once you get to the objective, you can change into your gear. Just also want to discuss the uh, motors we put in here. Because we have the racing hull, which Reggie, Reggie's already got the speed record at 177 miles an hour, which also just won the cup in 2009 down in Key West. We're running all racing components. We're running Mercury's or 525s with the racing transmissions, and we're running the six drive out drive. So we got bulletproof drivetrain on this boat. We all know we already know the, that the hull can perform at speed. We just put a different top on it, different deck, so it's more operational when it comes to Department of Homeland Security, Customs Border Patrol, other foreign nations that might need some kind of a, a small navy, counter drug, anti piracy. We built it to fit into all those different arenas of operation. Dave Bowman again from Oilfield Training Centers, Maritime Special Projects. If you're interested in any more information pertaining to this boat, just go to the, the Fountain website and there'll be a link directly to Moorfield Training Center. And there's also connections as far as email and contact information by phone. Thank you very much.